Hello Capricorn. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitra here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. This could have been somebody that you've been in a relationship with. It could be a situationship. This could be somebody who you've had just exchange of glances. And you know there's something there, but someone has not said anything yet. Somebody finds you very beautiful or very handsome. So this is a general love reading and it's not going to resonate with everybody out there. Just keep that in mind. Um, also, these cards are meant to see what the person is feeling. But sometimes we do exchange energy. We can pick up on other people's energy. Um, we can mirror each other. So yes, um, this could also feel as if it's your own energy. Somebody here has had a hard lesson. A lesson has been learned. A mistake was made. Somebody's guilty. Holy smokes. Yeah, um, a huge lesson to the point where somebody's thought process and mindset is changing. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. This is a very um, different kind of reading. The feelings here are very unique. There, it's un, it's not common. I don't get this combination. It's not a com a common combination that I get. All right, so let's have a look here. We have challenge, followed by beauty, wisdom, creativity, sensuality, grief, embracing the shadow, awakening, and under the bottom of the deck we have illusion. So, I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Capricorn, the situation that you and I are facing now is very challenging for me. It may not appear like that to you because I'm not showing it to you, but it is a problem that cannot be solved. A riddle to which a solution cannot be found. I haven't encountered something like this before and that's what the problem is. I don't know how to deal with it. With you I have felt that I have found someone who makes me see who I truly am. We mirror each other and you do bring out the best in me. You may think the worst, but I do see things differently, not like the way I did before. I admire you. You are like sunshine. You're very beautiful. You're very handsome. On the outside as a human being, but also on the inside, your personality, your charm, your charisma, your talents, Everything about you is very beautiful. You're just an overall good person. And I didn't realize this before. I didn't value you before. But now I see that things have changed. In my mind, many things have become more real have become more open. Things are starting to become clear. Now I am more wiser. I wasn't wise like this before because many things that you and I went through 
I only just went along with it for the sake of it. I never actually learned any lessons. But ever since there's been distance, I am starting to learn my lesson. I'm starting to become wise. I now know not to make that mistake again. And now I know why you do what you do. I want to create something with you, something that'll be long lasting for the world to see. There are certain things about you that are unique, that are beautiful. And I do feel that it's important that this feeling be explored. There's a part of you that is just so alluring, so tempting, so sensual. I do feel that in this connection, you are someone who is very gorgeous. You can try to tempt me and you don't even have to try. You are that seductive. And I never really appreciated this feeling that you give to me. Unknowingly, you make me feel this way. But now I grieve because of the way I've treated you and the distance that's there between us. I do feel guilty, remorse, regret over what has happened, over what I have done. I now am afraid that I'm losing you. I'm afraid that I have lost you. And I grieve. I grieve. There are tears, sometimes at night. And I live in a world of melancholy right now. I am not happy. You were my shining star. And now all there is is darkness around. And with this darkness, you are the only light that shines. And I'm holding you bright, hoping that you don't leave. Because if you do, my world will become dark. I realize now that you were that guiding light. You never gave up. You always came through. And I just never really valued you. I do feel that in this connection, I have been quite impulsive, compulsive and aggressive at times. You have seen that dark side of me, that side that not a lot of people have seen. The things that have come to light that really make me look like a bad, sometimes even evil person. I do feel that this awkwardness now that exists between us this feeling of being like strangers. It's hard and challenging to overcome. This feeling that I have now, it's hard not to feel uncomfortable. But I realize now what I put you through and that the awkwardness and the distance between us it does and it is making us feel quite distant, distant. I have come to the realization because of this, I have had an awakening moment. I'm starting to see things from your perspective now, finally. Because I'm having an awakening moment now, I am much more wiser. And so I see things from your perspective because I'm feeling sad. Before, I was fine. I was happy. Nothing really mattered to me. But when it actually hit home, when it actually hit my heart, now is where things change. Now is where everything seems real. 
and as soon as it has gotten real, I shy away. Now I'm embarrassed. I don't know what to say to you. I don't know how to come over and talk to you. That itself is a challenge. I hide behind a veil. I hide behind a mask. Not wanting to tell you the truth, what's in my heart. Not being able to come clean and tell you what I've been hiding. I may look as though I'm happy and I'm ignoring you, but no, that's not the truth. The truth is I'm grieving on the inside, but I dare not tell you. I still have a little bit of ego and pride. It's hard for me because I don't want to look like an idiot. I don't want to show you how many mistakes I've made. It's just challenging for me to open up to you. All right, Capricorn. Wow, very different. This reading is very different. Um, this is like a hard lesson. This person, um, what it, it appears to me here uh, for the majority of you, that this individual was with you for some time. They took advantage. They didn't value. The word keyword here is value. That keeps coming up for me. They didn't value you. And now when there has been some type of upsetness or distance, all of a sudden now, like you guys know what happened. But this person is now starting to realize that, oh my goodness, I've lost my Capricorn. Suddenly they have this value for you. But there is still a little bit of the feeling of embarrassment, um, which is because of pride and ego. You, this person might be a bit, I'm getting the word ignorant. I'm seeing this in my mind's eye right now, ignorant. Um, this person may be that type of individual. It's not easy for them to open up. And this is something that I'm seeing here, that there's a lot of awkwardness between the both of you right now. They may not show that they're wise, but in all honesty, they're starting to become more wise. The only issue is that they're not able to open up to you. They're hiding behind a false mask, behind a veil. Okay. Let's have a look at the Lover's Path Tarot. The Lover's Path Tarot. So this whole, I'm going to look at any blockages, any issues that happened that may have caused the problem in the first place. Something perhaps that they didn't tell you. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you do know. There's something that has been causing one of the major problems. Okay. This person's been taking too long. Deciding. You have been waiting for a very long time. Some of you have been waiting. Contemplation, and we have here Ten of Cups. Traditionally, Ten of Cups is very good. However, I am reading the reversal, so you can imagine the opposite of Ten of Cups. So this is something that happened um, that caused the problem in the first place. One of the many reasons. So we have here Contemplation. What happened when things started to go downhill at some point in time, this person, Capricorn, was not listening to their heart. So they decided to retreat within themselves, to become a hermit. They wanted to focus on themselves because they could not focus their relationship that they had with others. So they decided that they needed to focus on the relationship that they have with themselves. Now, why they started to do this and why they are doing this if some of you are still in this situation because they were and they are distracted by the world and all of the other issues that are in this world um, in this person's life so they're trying to ignore all of this they're ignoring their own intuition they're trying to keep to themselves they're trying to retreat there is withdrawal there's introspection there's isolation there's retreat um, this person has forced themselves into isolation. They're not talking to anybody. Here, also, an issue was that they were also ignoring their own intuition. 
They, in fact, knew that there were certain things that they could do, that they should do. However, they were not. They could not. Now, here we also have superficiality. So at some point, they may have thought that in this connection, you know, was this connection even real? They felt that something might be superficial. So they really wanted to find out. And this doesn't have to be you. This could have been them. They could also have been superficial and acting in this connection the entire time. And for you, you know, you might have been genuine, but this person actually was not able to recognize love. And so they thought that maybe this is just the way it is. Maybe this is fake. Maybe you're a phony. They actually did not realize um, the true value, like I said, the keyword of this um, connection. It's, uh, it was bad. They were feeling unconnected with their heart. This is a reason why, of course, this is the exact reason why with the Ten of Cups, um, this person could not move on with you the way that you wanted them to. Here we have the Ten of Cups. Let's have a look at that. With it, oh gosh, sorry. The whole booklet just closed. Okay. Um, oh my. Uh, so for some of you, some of you wanted closure. They did not give this to you. At the time, there was happiness and there was no happiness at some point in time. There's a, dis, there's a sense of dissatisfaction in this connection that this person felt, although they were uncertain why. They didn't know why they were not satisfied. Even if everything looked perfect on the surface, you both were a couple, you both used to go out, you met each other's families, um, so many things, so many memories you must have built and shared. This is why it's very strange because everything looked perfect on the surface but there was an inability to experience joy. Why is that? Remember with the other card, with the contemplation card, the hermit card, it talked about superficiality. So this person felt that this was entirely superficial. They felt this connection, maybe you, maybe them. And this is exactly why with the 10 of cups, there, were, there was the inability to experience joy. So, because this person was reflecting on themselves, this is the kind of situation where it actually wasn't your fault or your um, kind of, like you, you were not the reason why this person was the way that they were. This person already had issues and you just merely came into the life and they decided to either at the time be with you or not be with you, but they became a hermit because they wanted to know what are they doing in this connection? Why are they even in it? So, you know, that saying, it's not you, it's me, right? That's what this person is. It's not you, Capricorn. This was them. There was something going on here in their heart, in their mind, which is why they turned into the hermit. They could not find themselves and they were trying to find themselves. If you can't love yourself, you can't really love other people. That's just the way it is. You do have to have some form of um, affection to take care of your own self because then you have ambition, you have goals, you have aspirations, right? But if you don't have any of that, how are you even going to be a positive person in a connection with somebody else? This is where it comes from. This person was not having the Ten of Cups because they themselves were in a really bad spot. All right, Capricorn, let's have a look add another part here um we have the beginner's tarot deck okay you have the fool card so this is any plans any actions that this individual may take or may want to take towards you wow three of swords oh yeah remember with the grief card it's very similar to the Three of Swords. The grief is just complete grief. There is separation here. They are not liking this separation. It's hurting them a lot too. We have here also the Two of Swords. They're just not, I'm not seeing that they're ready right now. It's almost as if they're still trying to learn um, a bit more about how relationships go. 
So you have here Fool, the Fool. Then you have Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and you have the Page of Cups under the bottom of the deck. Very nice card. So Capricorn, here with the Fool, um, there's no doubt about it. This person really does want you. They want you in their life. They want to take a leap of faith with you. But the only problem is, is that they know if they did it, it wouldn't be correct. The way they want to do things right now, it's not the right way. There is a way of doing things the right way. They're not trying to do it the right way because they don't know how to do it. This is one of the reasons why they hesitate. And so therefore there is distance. And they also have the three of swords separating from you being separate from you right now really hurts them for some of you not all of you this might also be a third party situation where there is separation and taking that leap of faith to make things more solid it's just not happening there is hesitation here but this person really does feel a sense of grief sorrow melancholy the heart is broken completely shattered it really hurts they really have gotten hurt in this situation because it's as if love was staring them right in the face and then by the time they recognized it, the rest of that passion, that attraction, that speed that this love train was on, it decreased, just kind of went off the rails or it just went out of commission. And now this person's like, oh, it's too late. They feel like it's too late. They didn't value you. We also have here the Seven of Pentacles. At some point in time, they felt or they still feel that they have invested a lot in this connection, even if it was a little bit. They just want to see where this goes. They want to know. Um, they personally want to. Um, they're judging when would be the right time to reach out to you. Now, do I see that happening anytime soon? Honestly, not anytime soon, because then you have the two of swords. So their eyes are closed, or there's a blindfold, ears are shut. We have the heart being closed. They're not talking to anybody. They're not wanting to deal with this. They're not wanting to deal with themselves. It's like they're in denial. Oh my goodness. Um, for some of you, and I don't say this lightly, I'm getting the word bipolar. I'm getting the word bipolar. This person may have some type of personality disorder. And, you know, if it's possible, it's always good to go to a therapist, go to a doctor, um, because things like that can get worse, right? We don't want things to get worse if you're in that type of connection with this person. Otherwise, you know, hope that this person is, I hope that this person gets better. Um, but there, you know, it's like hot and cold. They, they're they unable to decide and to just like to understand who they are. And only they will be able to be with you if they recognize and understand with the contemplation card, the hermit card, who they are, what they want, where they want to head in this connection. Now, what's good is you have this really sweet card under the bottom of the deck, the page of cups. For some of you, Capricorn, this person literally with the fool card as well this person literally might be younger than you they may also be maybe the same age as you maybe older than you but they act immature they are inexperienced which is why they also act immature um, i'm also getting the word spoiled somebody here may be a spoiled um i'm seeing a spoiled man actually um a man who may have been pampered a lot but um that can also go for females as well um, somebody here who was spoiled to the point they never really had a chance to do things on their own and so entitled this is the word I'm getting now they feel entitled some of somebody out there feels like this um, however they're trying their best now this is what's kind of cute about this card they are trying to get out of their shell trying to come out into the open and apologize somehow directly or indirectly give you some type of message so that the both of you can start talking trying to break the ice why is that because this person does love you the fact that you have the three of swords through a heart that heart has now been pierced that heart was yours they had and they still are in love with you however 
they just don't know how the heck to fix the situation to come back and they're trying slowly and softly in a very shy timid kind of way so do I see this person taking action I do but it's going to be kind of in the in the future like in the far future it's not anytime soon all right Just going to do a quick prayer. All right, these messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. This is Archangel Answer Cards. Okay. So here we have Listen to Your Intuition. This is you listening to your higher self. Your higher self is your soul speaking to you. Um, your soul is much more older and wiser than you, your body, your spirit. Here we also have take action. So eventually um, you are going to take some form of action in the coming future. However, before you do that, it is important to concentrate, to pray, to meditate. Um, meditation will bring you answers so here this is the Christ consciousness what you can do is you can pray to the Christ consciousness through the consciousness through those principles you can call upon Jehovah um, or the Almighty the Creator the source that is um, Christ consciousness father from there you can call upon Archangels Michael Raphael and Gabriel to bring you answers um, they're more aligned with the 3D. They deal with us every day. And so you can ask certain questions and you will be receiving answers. Now, when you get these answers, they're going to be intuitively coming to you. That's, that's what it is. You're going to be getting answers. They're going to intuitively come to you and then you're going to take action. Why? Because this is a romantic connection that is spiritually based. Here you have it. Again, many of you may have given up hope and faith. Here we again have the word trust, trust in the Christ consciousness. Here we have be assertive. Let this person know when you get a chance what you are comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with, what your boundaries are. Do you, like, do you have boundaries? It's important to keep healthy boundaries. Some of you may be really wanting to rush this, okay? But you have two cards here that are really stressing on this to wait because it's not the right time. It says here, not the right time. So they're literally saying, wait, it's not the right time. You know, it reads like a sentence. Here you have um, a spiritual based romance. So this person could be a twin flame, a soulmate, a karmic partner. Um, I understand with all of that type of feeling, the intensity, it's very intense. Of course, I do have, I do past life readings as well. Um, for some of you that may want some clarity or some closure as to why this person has come into your life, um, sometimes people need that. So um, I do provide that service. So you can have a look on my website and just see if um, the description is something that you're in a line with. And then, uh, sure, you can place an order. I also wanted to make another announcement. Well, regarding this as well, um, the romance card. Um, I do have videos on Asnoinshia Audio that talk about, and I explain um, twin flames, soulmates, karmic partners, and some other uh, spiritual based connections that we have. In addition to that, there's also past life and spiritual connections. That's another video. Um, there's also one called sensually intense. So these videos that I created, they're mostly audio recordings. It's just to, you know, teach you as to what this is and why you feel the way that you do. All of this I have observed through my readings this is what I've seen. I've seen trends and patterns and I made a note of them. And so this is how I've come up with this um, knowledge. In addition to that, I've also got knowledge from my angel guide, Angel Fakiel. So um, with that, I did want to announce one more thing. Um, many of you, and there's so many of you now, um, almost going to be hitting uh, 100k, 100,000 people. That's amazing. I can't believe that. It's still a shock to me that um, this channel has gotten this far. Amazing. And this is all because of you guys. <laughs> this is all you. 
Um, many of you have asked actually, and my niece was encouraging me for this too. They, you know, many people say, what do you look like? We want to see what you look like. So just for you guys and for my own sake of um, trying to get out of my shell and not being so camera shy, <laughs> um, on Asnoitia Audio, near the time of Valentine's, um, I will be posting a video of myself singing because I do enjoy singing. And um, in addition to the song, you will be able to see my face. <laughs> so that is a huge deal for me because nobody knows what I look like. Ah, <sighs> it's really nerve wracking. But I know you guys love me. Many of you support me. I know. I mean, all of you, all of you support me. That's why I'm here now. Um, thank you so much for the encouragement, for the support, the love, the continued support that you all have given me. Thank you. All right, Capricorn, I will see you guys again. You take care, stay safe, and remember that the things that you need and that you want will come, but right now is just not the right time, like the angels have said. All right, just keep that in mind. Time, time will show. It will happen, but it's just going to take some time. All right, you guys take care. Bye now.